Hi kids, I'm Drip. And I'm Drop. We're here to tell you about what else? Water and how it's recycled. Water is important to every kind of animal and plant. That's right, Drop. Life depends on us. Yuppered up, Drip. Living things need water, so people need to take care of the water. And use it carefully. You know, water starts out spick and span, sparkling clean. But when people use it, it gets dirty. Hey, Drop, I'm dirty. Whoa, what happened to you, Drip? I was playing all over the mud. It will come out, see? Sometimes when you have mud or sand in water, it settles out. Other times, like when you do dishes or the laundry, water gets full of soap and other yucky stuff. Or how about watercolor paints? Or the water we use to make things like paper, or cardboard to hold french fries and hamburgers. Fries. Even to make plastic toys with. You wonder how water can ever get clean again. Yeah, and what about the bathroom? P.U. What happens after people flush the toilet? Can you ever get that water clean again? Well, sure! The sewer system collects all the dirty water so it can be cleaned again. It's not easy, but it's a part of nature. Water is used over and over again all the time. The water people use is even older than the dinosaurs. That's right, Trip. Hey, we're very, very old, don't you know? You sure are old. Now one way water gets clean is by evaporation. Now that word means the water sort of dries up and goes into the air, where it becomes clouds and then rain. Rain is clean water. People used to catch rain in barrels to drink and use for washing. Another way water gets clean is at the wastewater plant. Did you know that Madison has a very big wastewater plant? Just look at it down there. Whoa, and it works in amazing ways to get water clean again. Drop and I have been there lots of times. Let's go investigate. Now here's the first part where all the sand and gravel and grit is removed. And here are all the settling tanks. This is where all the solid stuff is collected and made into sludge. If the sludge won't budge, they push it through! Uh. Just about drop, but some solid stuff is still in the water. And you might wonder, what happens to that? Well, yeah, Drip, do they zap it or bake it or put it in a pan? Nope, they bubble air through the water so our buddies the bacteria can eat it. They're the good bugs. Now you might say, yuck, but you're not a bacterium. These little guys will eat just about anything. Yep, they break down the solid stuff that's left in the water, almost like they were burning it up. And these good bugs are what keeps all our lakes and streams clean in nature. After the bubbling comes the final settling. <laughs> yeah, Drip. Here's where the water gets to rest, but the good bugs get recycled and go back to work on the next batch of dirty water. Hey, Drop, it's time to zap the bad germs. Oh, yeah, this is the good part. The water is almost clean now, but there might be a few bad bugs left. Right, so the science guys zap the water with ultraviolet light. Sort of like really strong sunshine, and that kills all the bad bugs. Wow, this water's clean again. It sure is, Drop. Fish can swim in it and birds can take a bath in it, but I have one question. Mm, question? Yeah, what happens to all the solid stuff that was taken out of the water? Good question, Drip. And the answer is one word, fertilizer. <coughs> Big people call it biosolids. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Biosolids, but it works just like fertilizer, right? To make plants grow? Yup. Biosolids help plants grow big and strong, just like farmers use cow manure to make the corn grow. The wastewater plant makes fertilizer out of the solid stuff. The growing plants sure seem to like it. The plants do like it, Drip. So do the farmers, because it makes the soil richer and easier to plow. That's cool. Well, I 
hope you kids have learned a heck of a lot today. Yep, now you know where the water goes when you use it. Remember not to waste any water, like don't leave it running real hard when you brush your teeth. And don't put dangerous stuff like oil or turpentine down the drain. You all have to help take care of the water supply. Because this is all the water the earth will ever have. Bye now, we'll see you again when we're recycled.